Hey, this is Tanya from Four Girls Jewelry. Would like to talk today about coils. I make tons of different ones on my drill. And I just want to show what I do with them. A new coil, usually a coil long, basically on the whole thing. After they're done, I squish one side slowly so they line up like so. It's, it's just slowly. After they line up, I hammer them. Just take a block and hammer after I hammer lightly I open them more the way how I like so sort of like that from these sort of simple pieces you can make amazing jewelry I really like the coiled stuff make all kinds of different ones that I make uh, bigger, smaller, um, I have different kinds of gauges I use um, and here I want to share jewelry uh, from coils. I just finished them this morning, they're not completely polished. more fancier things that's the coil piece then you take another wire or two wires depends and you wire wrap together and also wire wrap coils into the frame after you do that you can add jump rings and all kinds of beads you like green blue moonstones whatever i do also double frame with them so this one is one row and then the second row tie them together and add your links So, sorry for my dogs, just want to go inside. I also made matching earrings. Here is only four coils, they spaced more. And the same links. Um, I also did a little bit more, I don't know, summary earrings fancy with uh, seed beads, coils. These coils I am actually, you can make also on the drill. This one was by hand, but it's, you get idea what you can do with them. Just all with the coils. My favorite designs to do. Sometimes I do this way, sometimes I do that way. Uh, frames, you can make amazing frames from coils, including coils. Um, the last piece I did this morning, very, very simple. I have jump, uh, stones like this. So, uh, coils, I cut, let me look for it, so you measure the stone and you make coil, the length you need it, simple bale, the only thing here is uh, it's drilled, so I put a wire with the torched end here, you can see it's squished a little bit, so it won't go through completely. But it's not enough, enough security with, with just going through the bead, because the bead will be wobbling. It doesn't have that much support. What I did, I just netted around 
from both sides very quick guys you can very easily achieve that very fast and it's a simple piece i made tons of earrings in the past with same idea um, just use a 22 gauge wire around smaller bead and on any jump rings looks fantastic and it's easy i hope you enjoyed this tip and i will see you on tuesday Thanks for watching.